welcome everyone we are here at the next video on my channel global tournaments portrayed by Ernst Keul today we talk about the next team at the Paralympic Games in the men's division and today we talk about <laughs> Brazil. I talk at first about the history at the Pan American Championships, then I come to the World Championships, and in the end I talk about the history of the Paralympic Games. I start with the Pan American Games. The first time they played then was 2005. That was, in general, the first time ever the Pan American Games were played. Then Brazil finished on fourth place after losing the bronze medal game against Mexico. In 2011, they reached the final game and then they lost three to five against the USA to finish on second place and winning the silver medal. 2015 they reached the final again then they won the final game against the USA by 10 to 4 to win the Pan American Games for the first time. 2017, they played again in the final and again against the USA. This time, Brazil won by 9 to 3. And in 2019, they played again in the final, again against the USA, like every time. And then they won 12 to 9. So that was a bit closer than in 2017 and 2015. But in the end, Brazil won again. That was the history of the Pan American Games of Brazilian team. Now I talk about the World Championship history. The first time they played was in 2014 and then they reached the final after, for example, a 14-4 win in the semi-final against Lithuania. That was a fantastic performance to win against Lithuania with a mercy rule. And then in the final game, they played against Finland, the host nation, because the World Championship was hosted in Espo, Finland. And Brazil won the game 9-1 to to win the World Championship title 2014. In 2018, in Malmö, Sweden, they won every game in the prelim round. After that, in the quarterfinals, they beat Sweden, the host nation, 9 to 3. In the semi final, they played against Lithuania. And I can tell you that was the best game I've ever seen in global history because the offense was fantastic. Every throw was thrown nearly perfectly. Brazil lead it by 4 to 1. Then Lithuania came back to the 4 4. Brazil made the 5 4. The halftime score was 5 4 for Brazil. In the second half, Lithuania came back. And I can tell you, in the second half, Lithuania was the better team of both. And Brazil had some lucky moments. 
for example, after Lithuania made the equalizer to the 5-5, Giacomacio Sosa threw a long ball for Brazil. Lithuania made the penalty, but missed the penalty shot. But nevertheless, Lithuania scored the lead to 6-5. And then they had another moment where they almost scored a goal for the 7-5. But in last second, Brazil saved the ball onto the goal line. Then Leoman Moreno for Brazil scored the equalizer 74 seconds before the end. Then the game went into overtime and in overtime Brazil made the golden goal also by Leoman Moreno. In this case I can tell you Leoman Moreno is the best player of Brazilian goal and also the best player of the whole world, in my opinion. Then Brazil stood in the final and played against Germany. In the first half, Germany was the better team. But in the second half, Brazil came back and then Leoman Moreno scored three goals in one minute with the same shot on the same position of the field to turn the game Brazilians direction and the final score was 9-3 for Brazil so Brazil won the world championship back to back in 2014 and 2018. Now we are at the history of the Paralympic Games. We start with 2012 in London, England. In the prelim round, they lost against Turkey by 1-4. to four. They lost against Sweden 5-6. to six. They won against Finland 6-4. to four. They won against Great Britain 7-1 and they won against Lithuania 12-5. Then they played in the quarterfinals where they won 3-0 against Belgium. In the semi-final again against Lithuania and that was also a fantastic game. The halftime score was 1-0 for Lithuania and after that Brazil made a comeback and in the end Brazil won 2-1 against Lithuania to advance into the final against Finland but in the final they lost 1-8 and in the, directly in the first minute with the first two shots from Finland, Brazil got two goals against. And then two shots later, Finland scored the 3-0. Directly in the beginning of the game, you saw that Brazil can win the game. And in Rio 2016, they won in the prelim round 9-6 against Sweden, 12-2 against Algeria, 11-3 against Canada and 10-4 against Germany. In the quarterfinal they won against China by 10-3 and then we come to the semi-final game against the USA that was also yeah that was in a way a strange game because Brazil scored with one zero then the USA came with the equalizer and after that Brazil made many mistakes they threw nine 
high or long balls. That means they give nine penalty shots to the USA and the USA scored every single penalty shot to make the final score 10 to 1 for the USA. And yeah, Brazil looked really strong in the prelim round and also in the quarterfinal, but in the semi-final they lost 1 to 10 against the USA because of them because of huge mistakes of themselves. And then in the bronze medal game they played against Sweden where the halftime score was 4-0 for Sweden and then Brazil fight it back, made the score 4-4 and then 35 seconds before the end Brazil scored the 5 for a lead and directly with the next shot Sweden made the equalizer to the 5-5 then the game went into overtime and the golden goal was scored by Brazil so Brazil won the bronze medal in 2016 that's the facts of the past and I can tell you Brazil hasn't played in the world for so long but in the time they played they always stood into the top of the world and yeah in the Pan American Games they won three times in a row but in this case, I must tell you that at the Pan American Championship in the men's, it's in a way a two class society with Brazil and USA and then the rest. But nevertheless, the USA is also a top nation. And Brazil won three times in a row against the USA. And 2015 and 2017, it was yeah a really clear victory with 10 to 4 in 2015 and 9 to 3 in 2017. At the World Championship, also it's the same. They won back to back the champions, the World Championship title. But at the Paralympic Games. You saw that Brazil can't win the title. They never won the Paralympic Games in the past. And because of that, yeah, I don't know if they can do it this time. But if you look on the past, how they lost the games against Finland, yeah, 1 to 8 when they got three goals against in the first minute and against the USA they had a perfect start with scoring with 1-0 but after that they threw nine penalty shots if you look on that you can tell yeah maybe the Paralympic Games are too much for Brazil's nerves and they don't have the nerves to win the games. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed that. We will meet again next time. Take care and goodbye.